to most 16 year olds tomorrow is a day of immense significance tomorrow is GCSE results day it was the same for me when I opened my own GCSE results in 1996 and has been the same since the very first GCSE results day in 1988 tomorrow hundreds of thousands of students will open that envelope some side by side with their parents some with teachers or friends and some alone. Now despite that nerve-wracking feeling you've had all summer, the truth is that the results you receive tomorrow will more than likely reflect the effort you've put in over the last couple of years. If you've worked hard, concentrated, behaved, revised in your own time, then you'll probably get the good grades which reflect that. And if not, your results will probably reflect that too. But however you do tomorrow, whether it's grades 8 and 9 in English language and literature or a 1 and a 2, there's something very important that you should know. Something so important that it's caused me to make this special video. Your exam results are not an indication of how smart you are or how smart you will be when you grow up. Your true potential is unknown and unknowable. It's impossible for you or anyone else to foresee what can be accomplished with years of passion, effort and training. Your GCSE results are just a starting point from which you can now grow, not an indicator of where your life will end up. So for those of you who did brilliantly well and get amazing results tomorrow, well done. Reflect on what you did to do so well and apply that same skill set to whatever you do next. But don't, like I did, spend the next 20 years feeling superior to others, having an inflated opinion of yourself because of those exam results that you got when you were 16. For myself, every year that goes by has shown me just how little I know about real life and the things that matter. If you're watching this video and you didn't get the results you would have liked, then refuse to sit there and feel sorry for yourself. Reflect on what you could and perhaps should do differently if you had the chance again, and perhaps you will have the chance again if you need to resit any of these qualifications. But either way, remember, your GCSE results, whether good or bad, do not evaluate you as a person. Sometimes teachers and parents and students themselves can build them up into the most important thing in the world, but they're not. Use them as a starting point and plan how you're going to move forward. However you do tomorrow, I'd love to hear from you. Use the contact details on the screen to send me a message.